This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a counting problem here. Now, the test's main trick is to give you a question that at first blush appears to have tons of answers. For example, how many integers from 1 to 1,000? Ah, oh, 1 to 1,000. That's going to be forever. That's tons. But if you simply start writing them out, four times out of five, what you'll discover is you can simply write them all out and get the answer pretty quickly. So that's the first technique that I always go to. Now, if you can't write them all out, and it turns out that there's too many, you'll typically discover that pretty quickly. And hopefully you'll be able to find a pattern, and the pattern will lead you to the answer. So in almost all circumstances, nine times out of 10, writing out a couple of solutions is gonna be helpful and time effective. So let's make that our default strategy. And let's start out by looking at some of the criteria that they've given. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with equal to 5 times an even integer, which is sort of a strange criteria. 5 times even. Since I haven't seen that before, I'm going to start with that because it seems kind of odd. Let's see. Does 5 make the cut? No, that's 5 times 1. The first number that works is 10, which would be 5 times 2. 5 times 3 doesn't work because 3 is odd. 5 times 4 is 20. The next number that works is 5 times 6, which gives you 30. Then 5 times 8, which gives you 40. Then 5 times 10, which gives you 50. And I'm starting to see a pattern, which is only numbers which end in 0 make the cut. And that goes on and on forever. OK, well, let's look at the other criteria, which is multiples of 7. And let's write out some of the multiples of 7. Um, let's see, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, and on it goes. And one of the things that's interesting to notice is there's not a lot of overlap between the five times an even number list and the multiple of 7 list because most multiples of 7 do not end in 0. Actually, the only multiples of 7 which end in 0 are multiples of 70. So it's actually 7 times 10 before we actually get to a multiple of 7. And the next multiple of 7 that will work is another 10 of these. So it'll actually be 140. So once we cross these two lists, what we are left with is a list of both. So we want 5 times even and multiple of 70. Well, you could start with just multiple of 7. But we know that this is going to be equivalent to multiples of 70. So now let's make a list of those. 70. 140, 210, 280, 350, 420, 490, 560, 630, 700. And we're getting there. You can see we can actually write them all out and count. So let's keep going. 770, um, another 7, 840, 910, and 9. 80. And after that will be over a thousand. 1050 is the next one, but that's not on the list because it's too high. So we want to stop at a thousand. And now all we have to do is count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the answer will be 14. You could also try taking 1,000 and dividing by 70. 
And what you'll get if you do that is, let me do this in a different color. What you'll get is approximately 14.3. Now this is quite a shortcut, but it requires that you handle that 0.3. So we know the answer is an integer because we're counting. So we have to figure out whether to call this 14 or 15. And as long as you feel comfortable knowing that, okay, um, 14 are the number that make it, and that 0.3 just indicates that we didn't quite be able to fit another 70 in, then you can call this 14 and pick the answer. Don't bubble in 14.3. That'll be wrong. <laughs>